anyway, this is the channel if you've got saggy or baggy parts. Hi! Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. So guess what? Today is Tuesday. And guess what? Me and Amanda's back on for Team Up Tuesday. And I don't know, Jess might join in too. So, she didn't make up her mind. She didn't tell me. She said she was thinking about it. So, you might see Jess on here for Team Up Tuesday. Because we got a subject. Cricket, are you coming up here or not? You going to do Team Up Tuesday with Mama or not? Come on. You going to do Team Up Tuesday? Oh, goodness. Say hi. Say hi. Hi! Oh my goodness! Cricket's come to say hi! Oh, Cricket's gonna go get a haircut this week. <laughs> See, I get to go to Happy Dog. Happy Dog! Happy Dog! Oh, Cricket's gonna go to Happy Dog. Happy Dog! Happy Dog! Cricket's gonna get to go to Happy Dog. Happy Dog! Oh, she knows what that means. <laughs> Cricket's gonna get a go to happy dog. Okay, did you just wipe? You wanna come on? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Cricket. Come on, Cricket. She don't know what she's doing. She's so crazy. Um, but, <laughs> so guys, <laughs> I don't know if you saw on, what is this crazy hair doing? I don't know. I feel like I got a hair in my eye. But anyway, so I don't know if you saw on my, let's see, what was that, Monday's video? Yeah. What is that? Is that today? <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, so um, I don't know if you saw, this is a very dangerous video for me to be doing right now. Because in today's video, um, so let me do this. Hi, my name is Jeannie. This is Get This Glowing, and this is a channel for all you gals over 50, over 40, anybody that considers themselves to be mature, <laughs> as opposed to immature. <laughs> Not really. I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> I will take you if you're immature, too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. This is a channel if you've got saggy or baggy parts. <laughs> oh my goodness, you could be 20 years old with saggy, baggy parts if you've had a kid. <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with me today? Let's move on. Okay, so <laughs> it's because I've been cooped up in this house. I'm getting slap happy. Um, so anyway, uh, this is for anybody who is mature, um, <laughs> going back on that. Anyway, this is a channel for anybody, um, over 40, over 50. I'm over 50. So I am 50 years old. <laughs> That's to be 51. So if you identify with that, then click that subscribe button, ring that bell, because you're not going to want to miss a thing, because, uh, I'm a nutcase, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> In today's video, let me tell you what we're doing. We are going to be, me and Amanda, are going to be doing our 10 best products that we have received in subscription boxes, but I just canceled my subscription boxes. <laughs> so this is a dangerous video for me to make because that could lure me right back into subscribing. <laughs> Not. Um, so anyway, I am going to be going over with you the best things that I have received in my subscription boxes so far. Um, and this month, I just canceled mine, so I won't be getting them in April. So I am going to be staying away from the FOMO train. And I am, because the reason why I canceled is because I just feel like that I already have everything that they were offering me to do my selections over and I was really disappointed that the things that I didn't have I didn't get to choose from. I know it's a subscription box but it wasn't a mystery box. So whenever you know I had waited I was really really excited to get to choose between whether I wanted the Manny MUA palette which I did which I couldn't get anymore um, or I wanted the 
Smashbox palette. And whenever the choice that we got to make was over this stuff that I already had, I just really did not want to keep receiving products that I already have. And so I just said, you know what, let me just get off this train and regroup until things change. So yeah, that's why I did what I did. So in today's video, Amanda and I wanted to talk to you about the 10 best products that we have received so far um, in our subscription boxes. And I have received subscription boxes. My very first BoxyCharm was the Boxy Luxe box of December of 2019. And so I've received BoxyCharm for a little over a year is all that I received BoxyCharm. So let's start with the products that uh, I have. And um, I have always kept all of my boxes flyers. There are a few products that uh, I could not find the flyers and what box that things have come out of, but some of them I do still have the flyers and could figure out what products came out of what. So let's start with them and I will try to tell you where they came from. So uh, the first um, flyer that I have is from the February uh, 2019 Allure Beauty Box and in this box we received a product that I absolutely fell in love with and I have repurchased and I really really love this product and that is the one thing that I have loved so much about receiving um, subscription boxes and the one thing that I can say that subscription boxes have done for me and for my collection is that they have really given me a chance to explore different products that I may not would have explored otherwise and they have increased my breadth and depth of knowledge of makeup products otherwise that I would not have known about and I would not have tried just for the sheer lack of financial means to experience all of these different products. And so I feel like that my ability to know about brands, products, what's good, what's not good, has really increased. And if you do not get PR, and as a new YouTuber, you do not, this is a wonderful way to experience brands and experience products just through the, the sheer ability of getting products in these subscription boxes. And I will say that Allure Beauty Box is one of the best for just experiencing a product out there. And so this product is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. And this particular editor goes on to say that she has a mascara in every purse, multiples at her desk, and more than four <laughs> on her vanity at any given time. I like my lashes long and thick enough to cast shadows. And as someone who goes to town with mascara, I can tell you that the brand new ultra black option from Wander Beauty layers and layers without clumps gives lashes lots of drama, lift, check, volume, definitely length, almost to her brow bone. And the brush is the perfect size to really get to the roots of your lashes and to coat every hair. It comes in a squeezable tube so you get every last bit of the product out. And I do love this mascara. So it is a beautiful product and I really have enjoyed this mascara. This is not the one that came in the box. I have replaced it. Uh, and this one's almost gone as well. And so I really do love this product from Wonder Beauty. It is very, very good. And if you are looking for a good mascara, not from the drugstore, 
This is a very nice mascara. I can give it a thumbs up. I don't buy high-end mascaras very often, but this is one of my favorites when I do. So it is a very, very good mascara, and I never would have tried this if it hadn't been in this box. So it is a very, very good one. And I do like the squeeze tube because like she said, you can really, whenever you're right down at the end of it, you can really get in there and just squeeze it all around that brush and get the last little bit of goop out. So it's really, really a nice one. And I was first exposed to that in this box. And this was the February 2019 Allure Beauty Box. So Allure has always been very, very good to me. Um, another Allure Beauty Box product. And this one was, I usually write this down. Maybe October, November box. Something around there um, of this past year. But uh, in this box, what we got that was so spectacular, and I had already tried this um, right before we got this, was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that was in this box. And so I had just, they had just came back in stock, and I had just picked one up, and then... Um, they put this in the box, but I thought this was so wonderful that they had put this in the box, and I actually sent the one that I got in the box to a good friend of mine here on YouTube, and that would be Miss Nona at my so-called live uh, 1977, I believe, is uh, the name of her channel, so if you haven't been over to Nona's channel, go over and check her out. She is lovely. She is such a sweetheart. But she had wanted to try it so bad, and so I had sent this in with a little gift box that I had sent to Miss Nona. But this is a great product, and it came in, you know, a full size in my Allure Beauty Box, and it is a wonderful product. So I have um, this one, and then they came out with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in the Luminous version, and I love it even more. And so I have um, the e.l.f. Luminous version, then I have the regular e.l.f. Poreless um, Putty Primer. I love both of these. I have both of those. Um, Boxy Charm. Stellar. And I'm not sure which month this is. I did not write it down, but it was for the month of BoxyCharm Stellar. And in this, we received the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. I want to say that this was for November because I believe this was the very First, so that would be November of 2019. This was the very first premium box. And while I already had this palette, this was a gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous product to get in a boxy charm box. Absolutely amazing. This is one of the most beautiful products that I think Natasha Denona makes. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I could not believe that they put this in a boxy charm box. What a wonderful thing to get and to have in your collection, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I gifted this on my channel, and I enjoyed being able to do that so much for people who were, did not get off of the wait list at that particular time. This was such a beautiful, beautiful palette and such a great thing to get in your premium box. So I was so happy to have been able to um, put that out on my channel. But this was one of the best things that's ever been in a BoxyCharm uh, premium box that I have it was just absolutely wonderful. Um, as a matter of fact, 
As a matter of fact, I think that this palette is so much better than her new um, Love Cheek palette because the Love Cheek palette has so much glitter in one of the shades that I just think that this one is just so far superior to that one and it's just just the colors in this one is so good and a lot of people think that this really deep redder shade is not doable but it is you just have to go very very lightly with this but it is so gorgeous if you really just go lightly and just tap it out ever so lightly on your skin. It is so beautiful. You just can't go ham with it. But I think any skin tone can really use this palette. It's just beautiful. It's just one of the best palettes that I've ever seen from her. So it's just wonderful. I really, really love I really love this palette. It's so much better than the new one that she has out, in my opinion. So, yes, this was by far one of the best things in a box. Okay, so then heading back into Allure. So, uh, for, the, for the July box, I believe, for 2019, um, it was a collab with Huda. And one of the most wonderful things that Huda makes is the um, lash, her lashes in the classic Samantha lashes. And we received a pair of those. And this is not <laughs> the ones that I received, um, but these are another pair that... After I received them in this box, I got um, a little bit addicted to these for a short while before I discovered the, before KISS came out with their uh, Naked Drama line and the, the Style Tool. And now I buy the KISS Naked Drama in Tool. But... Before that, I would keep a pair of the classic Samanthas. I would buy them during the Sephora sale when they would be 20% off. And I would keep a pair of these <laughs> for special occasions because these are just my favorite high-end lashes. And I would have never known anything about these had they not been in the Allure Beauty Box. So, are beauty boxes helpful or hurtful? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I would be better off if I didn't know about these products, but these are so good. They are the best high-end lash I've ever used. They are so beautiful. They are just gorgeous. But now, my favorite for price, for the look, for everything, is the Kiss Naked Drama Lash in Tool. Those are the ones that I love. Those are the ones that I use, and they're $5. And these are pretty, these are really pricey. I can't remember. They might be $17 a pair, $15 a pair. They're really pricey. But I do have a pair stuck back because I just I just saved these for like if I'm going to a wedding or something like that. So these I keep stuck back. But those were incredible. That box from Allure was incredible to receive. It was so good. We got tons of stuff from Huda. Um, another box that was incredible to receive from Allure was the December of 2019 box that was curated by Anastasia of Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
And one of the things, one of my favorite things in that box was the clear, we got a full size of the ABH Clear Brow Gel and I love this. It is so good to really hold your brows in place when you really need that. I love this product. I really think I like it better than my Benefit Clear Brow Gel. So this is a win win for me. And again, it came from Allure. <laughs> As I was looking through all of this and the products that I I picked for my top faves are the ones that I really am using more on a daily basis. They're really my I tried to pick my go-tos, the ones that I'm really you know, maybe not so much an eyeshadow palette, but really the things that I'm purchasing again, I'm really going to again, things that have really made a difference to me that I'm trying over and over and over again that I'm using on a daily basis. Things that have maybe that I wouldn't have tried had it not been in the sub box but yet it's been a game changer. I've really fell in love with it to the point that now I rely on it. Now it's become part of my daily routine. So those are the types of products that I've really tried to pick out. Not that, oh, this is pretty packaging or, oh, this looks pretty in the pan. No, these are things that I'm using on a daily basis. They've really become incorporated into my daily routine and they have really changed the way that I put on my makeup on the daily. They've become part of my daily. So then um, the next thing, and this was in the Boxy Charm. I want to say, I can't find the card, but I want to say that this was the December Boxy Lux Box, maybe? And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I already used this product when we got it, but by far, this I use on a daily basis. And I really really loved receiving this in my box because it meant that I didn't have to go out and purchase this again with my own money. It was really nice to have been able to receive this in one of my subscription boxes. It really paid for that box that particular time because I know I'm going to use this. So that was definitely one of the best things I've received. Another thing uh, this came out of an Ipsy box, actually, and I don't know if I have the card or not, but this was from my, my Ipsy box. I think this was in the July Ipsy box. It was, uh, from the, uh, this is the Huda Mauve Obsessions, and this is such a gorgeous palette. I love this palette. I wanted this palette. I had this on my loves list at Sephora, and boom, there it was. I was wanting to buy this from Sephora anyway, and there it was in my box. So what a win-win. And this is such a fantastic palette. It's right there in my wheelhouse with the reds and the maroons. So I was so excited to have gotten this. One of the best things I've ever gotten in a box. Then in April um, of last year, we had gotten a box from Allure, again, Allure, <laughs> curated by Carly Bible. And one of the best lip glosses, liquid lips, I've ever gotten is, I just absolutely, this is a beautiful nude tone lip that you can wear with any bold eye. It's absolutely beautiful. 
and it's it's an ABH lip, but it's in the color Pure Hollywood, and I love this color lip. And this is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. I mean, it looks exactly like Carly Bible. And it is just wonderful. I love this pink color. And it's just one of the best, just one of the best lippies I've ever gotten. I loved the, the color that she picked. Um, another thing that was in this particular box that caused me to buy a full size of it um, that I absolutely adore was and that I've talked about on my channel before was the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Absolutely love that product. I don't have it with me up here because it's downstairs in my bathroom. But absolutely wonderful. Another thing I got in BoxyCharm that I use all the time that I love is the Touch and Soul Glassy uh, Skin Primer. Love this product. Absolutely love it. Um, another thing I got, I don't know what box it was in, um, that I got from BoxyCharm that I think is one of the best under eye correctors when you have dark circles. I don't always need this, but whenever I do, I like to know that I have it, is the Dragon Beauty. This is the Dragon Fire color corrector. It looks like it would be too dark for you, but it taps out and it just really, really works to correct your dark circles. It works so good. I really love this product from Nikita Dragon. Then I'm almost done. Um, I think I got this in an Allure box. This is Floss, my new favorite lip gloss. I love this. It used to be clear, but I've used it so much over any and every lipstick I own. I love this. This is the best lip gloss on the market, bar none, in my opinion. Mm. It works so good over those really drying, tight, cracking liquid lipsticks that are uncomfortable. Just pop you some of this and you are good to go. I use it over all of my Kylie lips, my ABH lips, any liquid lips that you love that are uncomfortable, this gets you through it. And it is so good. I love this product. Now, two more things from BoxyCharm. And these are products that, well, this one is a product I didn't think I was going to like, but I really do, and I love having it. It is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe. Uh, this is the Freestyle Highlighter. And it's the Kilowatt Highlighter and Trophy Wipe. And I didn't think I was going to be able to wear it, but I can. I really like this. It looks really, really good as long as you buff it out really well with a buffing brush. Preferably the Kevin Aqua Soft Buffing Brush. It is so beautiful. And I'm really glad because I would have never bought this ever. Would I have taken a chance and bought this on my own? But it came in a box. And I looked at it like it was a free product that either I tried it or I was going to give it away. And I tried it and it is gorgeous. So I'm very happy to have that. And the very last thing that I just absolutely adore is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow My Holy Grail. And I love this palette. This came in the December 2019 Boxy Luxe box. And it is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of beautiful browns, neutrals, reds, and pinks. And it is such a beautiful palette. I just love it. I think this is a wonderful palette. 
and I am so happy that I have it. It's one of the very first things I ever got from BoxyCharm, and I have not stopped loving this palette yet. So I'm really, really tickled to have it. So those are my top products for what has come in my subscription boxes. Shout out in the comments below, what are some of yours? Let me know. What have you gotten in your subscription boxes that you really love? Going back through everything has really let me know, you know, Allure is a really good subscription box. That's one of, it was my very first subscription box, I have to say. That was the very first box I ever subscribed to. And that would be the one if I was going to keep one. I'd have to say, after looking at everything, I think that would probably be the one that I would want to keep. I think that's the one I may end up missing the most. Because a lot of good stuff comes in Allure. I mean, for the price versus the goodies... This was a pretty good exercise, I think, for me to kind of look through and see. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in my Allure box. So I was really shocked. But yeah, you'll have to let me know uh, what you've gotten in your subscription boxes that you really, really loved. So yeah, I look so forward to hearing from you. I hope that you liked today's video. Uh, I most certainly have loved uh, teaming back up with Amanda. I just love my girl, and uh, we've got some more goodies on track for you for next week, and I'm getting uh, back on track. My headaches are getting better, and I am set for some Botox injections in my back and the back of my neck, so I'm looking forward to that. That should help a lot. Um, has anybody had Botox injections in their back? Um, let me know if you have. I'd really like to hear what your experience has been. I look so forward to hearing from you. And until my next video, smooches guys. Bye-bye for now.